How to Curtis P-36 Hawk in War Thunder Air Realistic Battle The P-36 is the best introduction to the United States aviation tech tree, which sets up the new American player for the Rank 2 P-40 Warhawk and F-4U Corsair. The vehicle is the best Rank 1 aircraft in the United States and French tech trees. It is a fast and maneuverable first-generation monoplane fighter. Despite being a delight to fly in real life, Comparatively, the Hawk is still a heavy American-style aircraft. It does not have the maneuverability of the lighter Japanese and Italian aircraft, and due to its short length, it does not have the high-speed authority of the P-40 Warhawk or F-4F Wildcat. In 1934, the United States Army correctly guessed that in the 21st century we would be a free-to-play dogfight simulator, and wrote a specification to dominate rank 1 in that game. The Army wanted a monoplane pursuit fighter that would not have to fight above 15,000 feet and would not need more than 90 minutes of fuel. The attractive Hawk 75 was the result. Anticipating rank 1 demand for vehicles, Curtis continued to up engine, up gun and up ammo, the P-36 for the U.S. Army and the Hawk 75 for export orders. The U.S. P-36s and French Hawk 75s have a mix of engines from 900 horsepower to 1200 horsepower. The same is true of the armament which goes from 430 caliber machine guns to a mix of 50 caliber and 30 caliber in the nose and wings. The Hawk journey starts on the US tech tree with the P-36A 1.3BR. The A variant has 130 caliber and 150 caliber machine gun. This is weak sauce armament for a monoplane. Since both guns fire through the propeller, use stealth belts for 50 caliber and universal belts for the 30 caliber. The tracers in the smaller gun will help you aim, while letting every bullet in the larger gun do damage if it lands on an opponent. All the Hawk airframes play the same way in air realistic battle. You can get into dogfights, as it turns and loops, but you will lose to a biplane. You can dive on strike aircraft but will not outrun a BF-109. When chasing down a bomber, your lack of hitting power will hurt. So how can you overcome that without buying a new gaming chair? Tip 1. Map your camera to the right mouse button. Why? So you can use your mouse to look behind you in a crowded low BR fun-filled fur bomb, while flying with the W, A, S and D keys. If you have the second mouse button mapped to heavier guns, put them all on the left mouse button. If someone is in front of your guns, unload on them with everything you have. A common camera strategy is to have it mapped to C in the mouse button. The C key is used when looking around, and the mouse button when in combat. What takes time though is getting used to flying with the keyboard while looking behind to see your opponent as you dogfight. Tip 2. In a turning fight get used to using flaps with the F key. As you bleed off speed you can use your compact flaps to tighten your turn. The Hawk has enough engine power and wing area to pull this off at the battle rating it is at. The F key is the common flaps key mapping, and get used to hitting the key with your pointer finger during a fight. It takes some time, and you will stall into the ground, but once you get used to tapping the key to lower and raise flaps you will be able to use the flaps that will to tighten a turn or loop which will make your aim better. What should your strategy be when playing air realistic battle with the P-36 Hawk? Air RB has four phases, the scramble, the merge, the dogfight, and the cleanup. For the scramble, take off at 100% power, raise your landing gear and flaps, then build speed to 250 km an hour before starting your climb. With the P-36C, Climb at 220 km an hour indicated at air speed or emergency power. Level out at 3 km height and pick up speed. This will put you above the opposing team, unless you are in an up tier, in which case climb behind the Corsairs and Warhawks. When the teams merge, try and avoid head-ons, the P-36 does not have the firepower of the Russian or German aircraft and will often come off second best. The best bet with the Hawk is to think American, dive on an opponent, shoot them down, then extend and turn back to attack the next. How should you deal with biplanes? Ignore them. Dive away and focus on someone else. A biplane cannot stay with the P-36 in a dive and only stands a chance if you dogfight them. Dive or extend toward your team, and let the biplane scream in drag-filled frustration. Another difficult aircraft to fight is the Stuka. It gets an air start giving it a sweet potential energy advantage. Avoid head-ons with a Stuka, and bait them into turn fighting. The Stuka is underpowered in comparison to a P-36 and will quickly lose a high-speed turn fight. 
BF 109s are everywhere at the BRs the Hawk sits at. Taking on A109 is situational, avoid fights in the vertical, but with speed you can boom and zoom a 109, and when push comes to shove, you can outturn one in a horizontal dot fight. Now take the low city and kill the newbies please K thanks bye.